Hey guys, my name is Pierre from Can-Am SpiderAccessories.com and welcome to the Spider Shop. In this video, we're going to keep going with the uh, RT acrylic chrome series that we have. These beautiful accent pieces that you can put on your Can-Am Spider to give you that chrome and personalized look that you're looking for. Now in this video, it's a brand new product. It's the 107, actually all out trims are actually named 101, 102, 103, and it's numbered. So this is number 107, and it's a four-piece set. You got two like this, here we go, and two of these, and they go right down the center of the RT Spider at the bottom. So we're going to be installing these, and we're going to show you how to prep to do the installation as well. Here we go. What's fun about these projects is that it installs in just a minute. You don't need a lot to get it done. You'll need microfiber cloth. You will need some rubbing alcohol. And maybe, just maybe, a little bit of masking tape that you would use for painting. So this is going to help you, help me, at the same time, uh, just line myself up correctly. Because once we put that down, it's kind of hard to take off because it has 3M tape at the bottom. Now, we want to get that bike really clean. It's usually a place where you're going to be putting down some wax, some wipe and shine or other kind of products to make your, you know, your bike look good. But it's kind of greasy. So we got to get all that grease off to make sure that that tape, I'm pointing here, but I'm just talking about the tape behind it, when we pull that off, we really want it to stick down because it's a place where it's going to take a little bit of beating of the front, right? You got a front fender, so you're getting all the debris, of, you know, when you're going along the highways and everything else, you're going to get some rocks and everything else. We want that to stick really good. So let's go ahead and get that cleaned. So just before we go ahead and get this clean, because this is the place where it's going to go, this one right here, and right here, and even as I'm running my fingers on this, I can feel all the wax that I've put on, you know, over the last couple of months, especially in the last couple of weeks when I shined the bike real good to make it showroom for the winter. So you may be asking me, uh, what are the numbers of these here? Now, this is one of our favorites and probably it's the biggest seller that we have. It goes right down the middle here. It's a lot of fun because this fits 210 all the way up to 218. So it fits all Can-Am Spiders. This is number 106. It's a four piece. 106 is a four piece. Down in the center here of the trunk, this is 101 and this also fits all years. This one down here that goes on the front trunk and right underneath the mirror is series 102 and this also fits all years. So you got one, two and three that fit all year. We also have the mirrors up here. So these mirrors are 210 all the way up to 218 and that's the 201s you do have these ones here they fit the 214 and up that's 103 right behind me here 104 and that also fits the 214 and up now this beautiful spider rider that's in the back here that's 109 and that also fits all years from 210 to 218 so I do have a lot of wax on there. I can feel it with my fingers. So I'm going to be generous here with the, uh, the rubbing alcohol. One of the good ways to know if you did a good job taking off the wax is that you take your fingers, dry fingers, and you run them along like this. And then you can do it where it's wax and where it's not wax, and you can feel the difference. You can feel that if it's gripping more than just sliding, then you did a good job of taking away all that wax. So once you're ready to install these pieces here, you want to grab one and just move around a little bit with it until you find that perfect spacing all the way around that you're comfortable with. Now, you want to have a little gap here when you put this piece and the other piece here. All right, now how much of a gap? Is it 3 16? Is it a quarter inch? Is it 1 8? Well, that's pretty much up to you. If you go more towards the center, then you're going to have a bigger gap here. But if you have the same gap on each side, and that's not a problem, it's not an issue. So what I recommend is that if you want to line yourself up, now you take a piece of tape, and once you've lined it up good and you're happy with that, you can just go ahead and 
stick it on there so it doesn't move. I'm going to grab another piece of tape and I'm going to go ahead and put another one here. Make sure it's exactly where I want it that I'm happy with. All right, just going to get back on the ground and look really close and see. Yeah, am I happy with that? I actually am. So, what I'm going to do is that I say I am, but I'm not. So, I'm going to lift this up a little bit and I'm just going to rework it. All right, take off the tape at the bottom and just replace it until I'm happy with it. This looks good here. Let's go ahead and put that down. I'm getting that one eighth on this side, which I really like. And I like where this is going to finish up. So go ahead and press down on this tape. Now the whole point of putting these two tapes and putting it exactly where I want is that I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side and I can just step back and take a new look and see if I'm happy with the way it looks on both sides. Now that I'm happy with where it is exactly situated on this side and that side, it's time to take another piece of tape. And this time, put it, don't put it on the acrylic chrome, but line yourself up with the edge of where you want to start. Just like that. So I know now that if I line myself up here, I'm going to end up at the right place here. And I'm going to put another one right up top here. So I really have like a corner, this corner here, of where I'm going to be starting from. And with that, then I'll be able to just push it down and I know I'm going to be at the right place. And I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. Let me sure I hold that down here. And another one on top. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those and then peel away my side and we'll go ahead and stick that on. And then I probably can't see it, but my face is right up there. I'm maybe like eight inches away and I just want to make sure that I'm lining myself up correctly with my corner. And then as we lay it down, I make sure that I go from here and I lay it down this way. You don't want to stick this here before you stick here because it might not be even. You're going to get air bubbles in the back. So you want to lay it down. I'm over exaggerating, but this way. All right. And at the same time, I'm using my index and my thumb and I'm going to guide it along this here to make sure that I stay true to my line. Here we go. So now I go back to this end and I just push down along the side here. Now that we've done the two centerpiece, we're going to do the other edges and we're just going to need to remove this tape here. And then you can either eyeball it because you've already got a reference point here or you can go ahead and feel and put the tape if you feel more comfortable. That was a fast installation. It's a beautiful product. It's inexpensive. It's an easy way for you to get your spiders dressed up and personalized. As you can see, we've got a whole bunch of different places and more to come. Where can you find all that stuff? We're on CanAmSpiderAccessories.com. That's CanAmSpiderAccessories.com. Go check us out. You'll see we've had hundreds and hundreds of different products. Of course, we've got the beautiful spider grills as well. We have them in RTs and Eagles or Plain. We have them in Gunmetal Grave. We've got Trailer Hitch. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. So go check us out. 
once again, I can only say thank you for watching our videos and uh, please don't forget to subscribe on our channel as uh, videos are coming out, you know, a couple per week for now. So subscribe to our channel and make sure you're updated. Thanks very much, guys.